Little Rock Nine. In 1954, a Supreme Court decision made segregation in schools illegal, but some people violently resisted integration. And we will fight this thing as long as there is breath in our body. It took a lot of courage for nine teenagers to become the first African-American students to enter Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas. On September 25, 1957, President Eisenhower called in the 101st Airborne Division to escort the students through an angry mob and up the steps of Central High. Forty years later, one of the nine remembers. Uh, I can still hear the voices today, and I can see the faces. Uh, there was evil and hatred being communicated in no uncertain terms. The crowd was jeering, and I followed in with the crowd. I've learned that that was not right, the prejudices, because of a person's skin. Today, attitudes have changed as much as Central High's student body. Marking the 40th anniversary of the school's desegregation, President Clinton reminds us that while courts make the law, only people can make the law come alive. Forty years ago today, they climbed these steps, passed through this door, and moved our nation. And for that, we must all thank them.